welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, and we are live on location at Salon Links in the heart of Maple in Vaughan, Ontario, with June Lee, who is Click Insight. Welcome, June. Thank you, Jeanette. Glad to be here. I'm glad to have you. We're going to have talk about women in business right now and the importance of marketing and online marketing. So, June, you became a marketing strategist and internet data analysis. How did that happen for you? Well, it started out that I was uh, measuring websites. I've always been interested in measurement and uh, websites cost a lot to build, produce, maintain and that kind oh, of thing. tell me about and it. I just you, did my third one. That's right. Yeah. And so if, you, if you're making changes and you're investing a lot of money, how do you know whether it's working or not? And uh, when you see a problem, how do you know how big a problem it is, whether you need to fix it, that kind of thing. So we've had situations where um, someone can't find the location link, for example, on a website. And once, once you have fixed that, how do you know when they're now able to uh, do what they came to the website for? Now, you predominantly work with nonprofit, corporate, private, and public sectors, That's women right. in business owners. Um, you say one of the, the key things is that they need to know what marketing is working for them That's and right. what is not. Can you also define uh, the, the analytics? Because I don't know that everyone knows what analytics entails, like, sure. for example, yeah. Google. Okay, so, so Google Analytics, for example, actually this is the 10th year that uh, Google Analytics exists and we're also 10 years old, Click Insight. And what it is, is it's, it's uh, some tools that allow you to measure the traffic on your website. And the reason why that's important is that if you're investing money in digital, there's a lot flowing from traditional marketing to digital, how do you know if it's really working? So let's say you have ads that are, you are placing on Facebook and you're paying for this and you have banner ads. and uh, some search marketing ads, for example, how do you know what is bringing the most engaged traffic to your website and whether or not it's paying out for you? Now, we talked a little bit before about the symptoms of marketing mm -hmm. um, and measurement against competitors. Competitors who are online getting higher ranking through search engine optimization, also right. known as SEO. What are some of the symptoms and how can you help correct those symptoms to make sure that you are competitive? Right. So, it, and it goes back to the fact that it costs a lot these days to manage websites uh, and implement them and make sure that they're working properly. If you're not spending the time and effort to analyze what's actually happening on your website and your competitors are, then they're going to outdo you. So let's take the example of um, not knowing and, and how that could hurt you. Um, and the location example for, that uh, I was talking about earlier, um, we actually had a situation where we were trying to do a test to see whether someone could actually find a location if they needed to search with an intersection. And so we said to the people who were doing this test for us, go to the site and go and search for a location closest to this intersection. And they actually didn't click the link. They actually put into the on-site search box searching for locations. So it wasn't the expected problem we had, but basically they couldn't even start the work that they needed to do. Now, we were only testing about 20 people and um, half of them had this problem. But before we went back to the owner of the website and said, we think you need to make a change because people actually can't even get to your locator to find and do the work, we had to try and give them some, um, how, how big a problem was it? So that's when we went to the web analytics tool, which measures the traffic of all the people that were coming to the website. So we could actually tell them that a good percentage of the people were actually searching with the word locations once they got to the site. They're actually not clicking the link. Um, so those kinds of things help you focus. Now, one of the key things you do for clients is save mm -hmm. them time and money. Right. Can you elaborate on that? Sure. How um, do you save them time and money? Well, let's take the, um, like money, time is money and, and so on. Let's take the example I was saying before about um, you're spending money on Facebook and um, search and banner ads. And what if it turns out, but you don't know this, that your banner ads really aren't performing? There's maybe a couple of sites, but you can really shift that money over to Facebook. Uh, if your competitors are doing that kind of shifting around with their budget and you're not, then you're not really using the, the money to your best impact. And uh, so what we do is, is help um, business owners try and make, get the information so they can make those decisions and then put the money where it's most, most uh, going to be worthwhile. Okay, but you say this is not a magic solution. That's right, yeah. Okay, so um, 
I think it's important to also mention that if your clients try and do this for themselves, they're mm -hmm. not going to be necessarily able to collect the kind of information that you are, maybe because they lack know-how or they, right. you know, they just don't have the insight that you have <laughs> uh, because you, you've devoted this to, to your business. So we, we don't know what we don't know, yeah. right? right. Um, so what would happen, let's say, if they tried to get some of this information on our own? Have you got some like stories sure. to share about that? clients who try to get this on their own? Yeah, it's not surprising that people think that it's all there for the taking. I mean, it used to be that websites were pages, right, 15 years ago or so. They didn't have pop-ups, downloads, videos, all that kind of thing. And those kinds of um, assets on a website now are not tracked whatsoever at all. And uh, what needs to be done is some additional programming by uh, a developer or someone who works on the website to make those interactions trackable. and. Uh, uh, by not knowing that that's something that, that you need to do, you're sort of half blind when it comes to uh, looking at your website. Like you would never put in a retail store, for example, um, in a mall like this, for, and you would not look at the traffic through the site. The merchandising, let's say, of what's happening on the shelves here, you need to know whether people are looking at it or not, or else it's not doing its job. And that's right. the kind of thing that typically is, is not automatically tracked, and we help people make that visible. Another, another key component you told mm -hmm. me in, in having the tracking of your marketing efforts online yes. is first having a strong marketing message right. that really resonates with clients. That's right. How do you ensure that somebody has a strong marketing message before they start creating banner ads or spending money on Facebook ads or anything really, even putting up a website, you still have to have a good message first. Yes. Well, they need to make sure they really understand the hearts and minds of their customers and that's how they can, they can get a message. And uh, that really helps us in what we're trying to help them with in terms of measuring the key things on the website because Typically, if our clients really understand what their customers want to do, then they've built, they know what it is on the website that's significant to their customers. And when that happens, we know what interactions to focus on measuring. Without that, then we could measure things that are not relevant, and therefore the advice that we provide to them may not be completely bang on. So starting off with a really strong marketing message uh, starts with knowing your customers very, very well, and uh, when that happens, then it, it makes our job a lot easier. Okay, now I know that you give workshops to help mm -hmm. women grow their businesses mm -hmm. and learn more about online marketing and some of the components of online marketing. Mm -hmm. I also know that you have a million dollar move up event <laughs> that's coming on November 13th in Toronto. That's right. This is a an event that is really designed to help women literally kick ass their marketing plan and take their business to a seven figure business. Right. Can you tell us about the event, you know, sure. who's presenting, why you created it, how we can get registered for it, all that type of stuff. Sure, yeah. It's um, actually a collaborative effort. There's four of us who are involved and it came about because um, there was there's a desire that uh, those of us who are successful women entrepreneurs would like to give back to the community. So this event, um, it's being held November 13th at Verity Club, downtown Toronto. And um, all of the, the proceeds are going to be donated to a, um, an organization called CEO. And that organization is devoted to putting together a fund with which to fund other emerging women entrepreneurs. But this specific event, we have two excellent speakers, um, women who've grown their businesses uh, to be very, very successful. One is Victoria Sopic of uh, Kids and Company. Uh, her company is now over 50 million. She's mother of eight herself. I know it's that's quite amazing. amazing. And. Um, the other speaker uh, who'll be sharing their, her insights is Mark Hashi. So quite amazingly, where uh, it took her 12 years to get to two and a half million revenue, but then in eight years she went to 50 million, over 50 million revenue. So uh, her experience and both of them will be sharing insights. The thing about the day is that it's not just coming and listening to people. There are workshops uh, with uh, both Mark and Victoria participating, and the people who do attend will be able to. Uh, leave with a plan actually to help them either get to their first million or get to their next million. So that's why we're calling it the million dollar move up. And to register, where do we go to register? It's a, it, how much does it cost to attend? It's $200 to attend. Uh -huh. However, it's... Um, and what does that include? It's um, 
breakfast, lunch, the, the uh, materials for the session, um, anything that is above the cost of holding the session, uh, the profit actually all goes to CEO. So it's not a... Uh, so it's a pretty fair deal. It's, uh, yeah, it's funny. And where can we get registered to attend that? Um, it's on Eventbrite. And if you search for um, Million Dollar Move Up, that's how you will get to the site. It's, it's pretty easy to find. We tested it and made sure that uh, you could get there. So please register early. Um, we are um, closing it off when we do fill the room. And, uh, and it's a small number, right? Well. It's a, like an, an intimate group. That yes, you want. yes, it's an intimate group. Um, so that 30 would more be hands on. Exactly. Yeah. We want to make sure there's discussion and that uh, people will leave with an actionable plan for the day. Now, getting back to Click Insight, mm -hmm. we're just going to wrap it up. The number one thing women do wrong in their internet marketing, what is that? Well, I, specifically around internet marketing, it's, uh, our tagline is count what matters, change what counts. And uh, with internet marketing, there's the perception that because it's internet and digital, everything is automatically there. You can get all the data and, and uh, it's really not the case. You need to ask the questions and figure out what it is that's most significant that you want to um, measure and then go for it. Um, so the, the biggest thing is that uh, believing that you can go and look at the data after and then figure out what the insights will be and that they'll jump out at you. Whereas it's actually the other way around. Figure out what it is you want to really answer the types of insight you're trying to, uh, to get for your business and then make sure you have that information for you and All then right, take what is, action. What is the number one thing they do right? I think it's ask questions. Women are very curious. So yes. that, that's exactly curious one Georgia. of the... Yeah. Curious Georgina is our cause. <laughs> that's right. Uh, now, also want to mention your website um, which is www.clickinsight.ca, www.clickinsight.ca. And again, we have a great giveaway for yes. uh, women business owners today. Right. And that is, ladies, this is amazing. If you're in business for yourself and you really want to grow and uh, yeah. get those uh, Google Analytics working for you, <laughs> As I know personally about, you know, we use Google Analytics because we're an online show to calculate our views, right. among other things. So I do feel that this is a very important component of your um, marketing and online marketing. Mm -hmm. I really think it can help you. So you can win a $250 call with uh, June here, who's the expert, and she will give you a live audit of your website's Google Analytics data. Right. Okay, now if the winner does not have a website, they can still benefit from this one hour call with June uh, because you can take the Google Analytics and it can be used for a live demo or um, some kind of data account from a real account that they yeah. have, like a social media account, for example, yeah, that's Facebook, right. LinkedIn, Twitter, what have you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the call will be done by web conferencing, that's so right. go to meetings so you don't have to leave your location, right. you don't have to go meet June anywhere. Um, it's a very handy way to and do we'll, this. We'll tape it. We'll record it. And so they you can, can have follow the through. Yeah, the okay, so the video. one lucky winner is going to get that. And uh, to, to get it, this prize, you've got to sign up to win. So <laughs> click on the link when you see it. You'll have the post. Um, and visit www.jeanetteburke.com to get there. And again, June Lee of mm -hmm. Click Insight is at www.clickinsight.ca. Right, thank, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Great. Uh, I want to thank you for being with us today as well. If you're a woman in business trying to grow, certainly uh, internet marketing is going to help you do that. I'm Jeanette Burke signing off for Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. Until next time, continue to be fabulous. Please remember to like, share, and comment on all our posts with your family and friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twi Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Vimeo, YouTube. Um, Tumblr, Instagram, you name it, we're there. Hashtag Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. Now, do you love what I'm wearing today? You can find these great clothes from our new sponsor, Lavender Lily Boutique, located at 302 John Street in the heart of Thornhill, Unit 11. Talk to my friend, Vicki Kitchen. This is an amazing top that can be worn with an undershirt or not. It's got a little leather palette and it's got also a little cut in the back if you want to be extra sexy it goes great with my leather pencil skirt and my herringbone shoes it can also be worn with leather tights and it's great to take you from evening to wherever you need to go after that or business casual event and see you next time on Jeanette's 
I'm Every Woman Speaks.